the Africa, I, I, I haven't did my Africa trip. The, the main my main African trip that I want, we haven't done it yet. Okay. Um, the coronavirus got involved, and in another one, uh, another situation uh, allowed us to not doing this main one. So uh, I got one that I want to do. That I'm gonna be traveling. I'm gonna do different tours. I think I'm gonna hit like four cities out there and stuff. So, but I ain't done that one yet. And that's gonna be the main one that I that I want to do. But once I do it, you know, I come back on the show and uh, I tell you my my whole experience about it. You know, going back to see see my tribe. You know, I'm on the Edu. My tribe is the Edu tribe. You know, what I'm saying that's the Nigerian region. Yes, yes, and um and. I want to go back and learn a little bit more about my culture and, and, and different things as, as information unfolds with me and I obtain the knowledge. And I want to really see, you know, my culture, you know, and go back to the ancestors and, and learn a lot, a lot of different things. You know, we, we, we all have uh, different things that we're connected to and that we may not even know nothing about. You know, and uh, I love just being able to go back and research my roots and uh, get deeply involved in there and, and see what my tribe, you know, my tribe, you know, even with the with the Edu, with the Edu people, you know, they they are warriors, cold, stone cold warriors. We wear a mask and we, we, we do a lot of royal, royalty things, you know what I'm saying, have royal ceremonies and stuff like that. So it ain't, it ain't, it's not a coincidence that I wear a mask at my you know, in my events and stuff like that. You know, it's just a paying uh, a tri uh, tribute to my ancestors and, and my tribe. You know what I mean? So shout out to all the Edu people out there, baby. <laughs> the king is coming home soon. Right. I just gotta handle some business. The champ is a Niger boy. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. There's no this, no this. It's the yeah. It's the brother. This walk in. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon and click it. And sell it all, also don't drop in your banger on new exclusivity, you will definitely be notified. The the Bronze Bomba Water, as you all know. Declared a couple of days ago, almost a week now, getting to that is a Nigerian blood. Not just that, he said he's from the Edo tribe, aka Benin, descendant of the great Benin Empire. And he got his taught by. The Nigerians, surprisingly, even people that didn't like water, um, I know, I knew hardcore hitters of water. I was not a hardcore hitter of water. I just didn't like his fan base. I still don't like his fan base, especially those, uh, those deluded coons in America. Um, yeah, surprisingly, Nigerians embraced the hunting water. And I am present now. Edo people uh, are saying they are behind them and they are welcoming him back to Nigeria. And they want him to come back even before his trilogy fight with Fury. Wada is excited that he's been accepted by the Nigerian people. It's very good. Shout out to the people. Shout out to the person that gave me the information. Wada knows that he's got a lot of balls in Nigeria. I think with Nigerian Nigerians behind him and the prayers of our ancestors. For the powerful ancestors, I think Wada should win. But in boxing, ancestors cannot help you in a way, but they can motivate you. So let's see if Wada is motivated by 
the praises, you know, the support is gone so far from Nigerians and from his ancestors. Or not? Let's see that. Let's go around here. We K. We K. What do you make of this right here? Nigerians accepting the onto the bronze world water. Of course, there are still some Nigerians. There are still some Nigerians who don't want to accept the fact that the water is Nigerian. But let's say majority of Nigerians are welcoming them to water. They they welcome him home. And um, what do you make of this uh, right here, bro? Okay, firstly, shout out to all the fans of Boxing Block Center, all boxing fans, and all DLT Wilder fans. We are very excited over here in Nigeria to hear him announce that he is a member of the Nigerian nation, a do ethnic group to be precise. Believe me, when I saw this news, I was so excited. I had to tell my brother Raymond immediately. As soon as, as soon as I was watching the barbershop conversation interview, I saw it and I'm like, this is gold. I have to tell him. And then, you know, since we broke the news, it has spread around the country like wildfire. We've seen it everywhere. It's all over Twitter. If you, if you, if you type in Deontay Wilder right now on your Twitter, there's a good chance that you'll see news media, Nigerian news media of Nigeria is talking about him being a do. Till now, they're still talking about it. It's, it was so amazing, so fantastic. Yesterday, when I was watching Arise Television, um, they normally do a sports recap, and they were talking about it on Arise. Um, the the anchor, the host of the show, was saying that he will be will be rooting for Deontay Wilder now that he knows that on Arise TV. On Arise, yes, Arise, yes. Bro, Arise. have they posted it on YouTube or like have they have they put it on, 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 on Unfortunately, um I I went on their YouTube. I realized that they that they no longer go live on YouTube anymore. Damn man. So would have recorded it. Yeah. What well, well, so the news has gone into our bro, these all started like these all began when you told me about it. I was surprised with it. You said yes. what I said is from is from Edo. I was like, with me, yeah. I mean, at, at those state because there's a those state and there's a do ethnic group. A do ethnic groups which I belong to, or aka Benin, is an those state. And I was like, okay, yeah. at those states, you have ethnic groups, okay? They might speak adult languages, but they are, they are their own ethnic groups, like the Isans, you know, the Afemais, the yeah. Yeah. Akoko Edos, the, you know, the Esakos, and Ko, many of yeah, them. But it's, well, it's under one umbrella as a do, right? Yeah, so when he's like when he said a do ethnic group, a do tribe, is referring to uh, the founders of Great Benin Empire. You yeah. know which I belong to. So he was specific when he said a do tribe. Yeah. And uh, yeah, bro, him being from Edo State, like he's just he's a son. He's the son of all a do a do a do people. Yeah. Yeah. And I was really, really surprised, bro. I mean, I was, I mean, I never really cared about Wilder's uh, ethnicity or whatsoever. You know, when he said he was Nigerian, I remember doing a video about it a year ago and accepting him. A lot of Nigerians were not really happy that I did. You can still go back a year plus, go check out my video. Even when he was supposed to go to Nigeria, you know, uh, that was in February or so, or, you know, uh, after the uh, February or March or so, after his loss to yeah. Fury. And I talked about it. Nigerians weren't really having it, bro. But it's very interesting that uh, this has broken the news and a lot of people that report about it, uh, some, you know, uh, of course, uh, put the video, my video on their website. Some didn't, you know. Uh, but it's okay, bro. Like, you gave me the information. I was, I don't watch Baba Shop conversation. I mean, you know, for one reason or another. Um, and uh, you gave me the information and uh, I, you know, talked about it and then he went viral, bro, crazily. It, what is happy it, it now? Has gone, it, has gone, it has gone viral. People are, people are very excited, you know. Um, particularly, particularly Edo people, they're very happy. Because Wilder is a warrior, everybody knows he's a warrior. So people, people are happy to embrace him as one of their own, you know. And, you know, Wilder actually had fans even before 
this announcement, Wilder always had a, block, a lot of fans in Nigeria. People like myself, I've always been a Wilder supporter since day one. You know, I, I, a couple of my friends are also Wilder fans. So we're just very excited. We're just very happy. We can't wait to see him here. We hope, we pray, we believe that he's going to do a job on Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury right now is very, very confident. He's overconfident. I, I know that Tyson Fury needs to feel like an underdog in big fights. He has never ever been in a big fight where he's the favorite like that. You know, Deontay Wilder on the other hand seems very focused, very motivated. So we're just we're just excited. When that fight happens, hopefully he knocks him out the way we expect him to. Then we then we will be seeing him, we'll be welcoming him with open arms down in Nigeria. Yeah? Yes, brother. That is really the fact um yeah man it is very nice that uh, nigerians are accepting him talking about him you know they are stored of them and uh i like that i like that some of course has to have their opinion some say i'm not bass <laughs> i'm not bass man i still listen i'm still a hardcore fan of Anthony joshua you know <laughs> But I'm also a, a fan of uh, Wilder now, and more than I, more than I was before. Um, I love both uh, brothers; both of them are our brothers. So I will never support one over another. Same as I won't. I don't criticize Joshua on except he does something wrong. I did before. I won't criticize Wilder except he does something wrong. And in this case, he hasn't done anything wrong. Okay. So far, so good. He's been keeping a low key. Uh, he's, been keeping, he's keeping a low profile. He's been very, um, uh, very, very uh, dedicated in what he's doing right now in training. I'm liking what I'm seeing right here. I'm liking what I'm seeing right here from Wada. Let's get our brother on here. Adewale to your stake. Adewale, how you doing, bro? Bro, I'm good, man. I'm so sorry. I. I'm just coming in. I don't even know what the topic is about. Well, it is about Dion to the bronze, Bomba Wilder. Uh, excited that, um, you know, that he's been accepted by a lot of Nigerians. I got information from an inside info that Wilder is very ecstatic that Nigerians are now accepting him. And he's, of course, the plan to go to Nigeria. After a few fight, what do you make of that, brother? That's a good thing for him, man. <clears throat> you know, this guy needs to rejuvenate himself, win, lose, or draw. I know he's going to win the fight, the trilogy against Tyson Fury, but no matter what happens within boxing, boxing is separate from real life. In his real life, him having the ability to connect with his ancestry is a very good thing. So I support it and I'm happy for him. I'm happy he can get some sort of closure to many questions he would have had growing up, wondering why, where he's from, where his ancestry began. I mean, you know, there are millions of people out there in the world that have these same problems. Many do not consider trying to reconnect, even though they have the resources. Many don't have the resources to reconnect but a guy like Wilder has the resources and is willing to reconnect. And I think that's commendable. So, yeah, I'm happy for him. I'm glad Nigerians, many Nigerians are accepted, accepting of him. And God bless the brother, man. Thanks, brother. Of course, there are so some Nigerians who don't want to believe, who don't want to accept that Wilder is Nigerian. What do you say to those guys at Diwali? Yeah, um... I have nothing positive to say to such people. They can hug Transformer. They can jump into River Niger. Jump into, if they live in, in, in England, they can jump into the Thames River. Wherever they live, they can find the biggest river and jump into it. Because what your choice, your hatred on someone cannot change what they plan to do with their lives. You can continue spewing negative energy out there because you hate someone. And if you ask a lot of these guys, why do you hate Wilder? They can't even give you a good enough answer. They just say rubbish all the time. 
So I have nothing positive to say to them. They can hug Transformer. Diwali, <laughs> simply, people will hate what I hug Transformer. Well, I think they have the right to criticize him, though, you know, uh, to criticize his past deeds. At the same time, we should learn to forgive because it's so, you know, what? one thing, one thing I've noticed about Africans, and let's say black people, okay, we are quick to forgive people that doesn't look like us. You know, uh, Africa was colonized. Our people were enslaved. Still yet, we forgive white people. Okay, we forgave them for everything that happened. But our fellow brothers, even in Nigeria, as I speak right now, there are still there is still there is still some tribal clash that maybe that happened that occurred many many years ago, maybe centuries ago. Okay, mm. some certain tribes still view other tribes as you know they they are still very stereotypical. Mm. They don't forgive them. Say, oh, these guys they did this to us back in those days. We're not bro. We need to forgive us. This is what I'm saying. I don't know. Some of our people, they just like that. Let's forgive people the same way. Let's forgive our own the same way we forgive people who are not our own. Okay? Yeah, I absolutely agree with you, brother. And I just want to say, these people, what did Wilder do to them? It doesn't, they don't need to, they, they can keep on hating on him. That's the best thing for them. Because there is no way we can convince millions of people to stop being ignorantly arrogant wilder hasn't done anything to them personally the only thing they know about wilder is what they hear from the media but they choose to internalize that and hate the guy and build up so much hatred upon themselves they're only doing themselves this a disfavor me even the fighters that i do not like like dillian white i don't hate the guy i don't care what he does i want him to get knocked out every time he fights that's it i don't want this guy to I, I'm not wishing him bad in real life, but within the sport of boxing, I want him to get knocked out every single time. So I will always root against him. But a lot of these wilder haters, they are just people that have they they have low self-esteem within themselves and they are looking for someone out there to bring down so they can feel good about themselves. Thanks, brother. I appreciate your opinion. Let's go brown here, Ty Ajagbe. He of course must have a different opinion. Yes, <laughs> Ajak Bay. Hey, man. How you doing, brother? How is life in New York? I'm good. I'm good, man. I mean, it could be better, but I'm okay, bro. So, what do you make of this? Nigerians accepting you onto water, and water very, you know, glad that is getting that has been accepted by Nigerians, a lot of Nigerians. I could see, I could see, I, you, you know, you have to see how they're feeling, right? Listen, not a lot of people. I would Bro, say you're free people. to speak your mind. Speak your mind. I'm not, I'm not afraid to speak my mind. I I'm say you're free to, I'm, okay. Speak your mind, I'm, bro. I'm trying to make both points. I'm trying to have it, because I see how they want this point, and I'm going to have to make, say, uh, like, I, I have to put it that, you know, I see the people that are, that are fighting say no some of i've read the comments some of them are saying no um just because he's uh he, he, he's he has a he has the uh ancestral dna or whatever he has is nigerian doesn't mean you know they're still fighting it. listen i can see why because nigerians open a door for for many many times for you know for people and then all of a sudden like you know they turn around and 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 um and decide oh i'm back to i'm back to being my doing my american way thing just because uh while it's just because he's he's uh he's he's um he's nigerian doesn't mean he has nigerian nigerians um 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 um, um, um best best uh best thing at heart you know i've always wondered what you know what i'm gonna wait till he goes to nigeria to see what he does for me to actually for me to actually see what he's up to because i'm wondering what I, I'm what wondering. are your expectations of the until order you know if he goes to nigeria listen him claim listen him claiming nigeria is a big thing very big 
Because remember, if anything goes on in Nigeria, people are going to be expecting Wilder to stand up and and speak on it. Not not just because you say you're Nigerian, you're going to have to speak on it. You're not just going to you're not just going to claim Nigeria and then all of a sudden you don't want to say nothing. When something goes on in America, you're only going to deal with the American side. But I understand, but Joshua didn't speak on the inside until he was forced to. The Nigerian did do anything to him. Not, listen, he still didn't lose Joshua, support. So, I don't, I um, don't, I don't so we don't have to. We don't. We shouldn't expect Water to speak about in bro. The guy is trying to reconnect with Nigeria. So why do you want? You want uh, yeah, Bello to lock him up, uh, Buari to lock him up already. You know, he wanted to foster his life. <laughs> bro, you're dealing of with... Uh, course, <laughs> Joshua course, just, has a direct... Listen, Joshua has a, is, is, has a direct parent from Nigeria. Water doesn't. So there are some things he can speak on. There are some things he cannot speak on. Because he doesn't know the atmospheric uh, landscape, phase, and lifestyle of Nigeria. Okay. Well, I'm just saying, man, they're gonna be expecting expecting that from Wilder. It doesn't even matter. I'll tell you that right now. It, they're gonna be expecting that, especially when it, if it has to do with all that, they're gonna be expecting him for him to say something. Even everybody was going, they were they were expecting people that don't work that weren't from Nigeria to say something. You know, they were going ham on it. So it's gonna be expected, and you can see where I'm trying to go, like saying. You just don't want to be you don't you don't want to say you're Nigerian just to say so. But when when the going gets tough, you're gonna hide. You know they want you to stand up for them as much as as much as they stand up for you. They they want you to stand up for them. Is that Nigerian are loving people? They'll stand they they they'll stand up for you. You know if you support them, they'll support you right back. That's that is that is not that is that is a guarantee. The truth. You know, it may take it may take some time building to build some confidence within them, but eventually, if 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 if, if you give them time, they'll love you for it, and you have you have one of the biggest supporters in in the platform, regardless regardless if they love boxing or not, they're gonna support you. You know, so I think it's just, it's it's only it's just like only a matter of time. Just give them some time to build up to Wilder, and let's see where Wilder Wilder takes it. But I, as for me, I don't think him further bashing Joshua should, would be the smart thing to do. I think he should really ease up on that, especially when it comes to um, when it comes to them being Nigerian brothers or trying to call each other out uh, or trying to make facts saying one is from here, one is from not over there. They should not bring that into it, and it should be more of a simple you know when the time comes let's 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 have this fight but as of right now it's it's because of aj that you know people are not too are not too keen on deontay wilder and those are facts man those are those are purely facts you know i understand brother um you you're right in a, in a way um you're right in a way because uh nigeria see joshua because nigeria love joshua a lot because of how gentle he is he is you know like you know he's very gentle he's you know very cultured you know he, he says the right things you know like joshua is like the perfect person water is different water water the person is very gentle a uh, family oriented water the fighter is a different because it's got character you know and uh, nigerians a lot of nigerians also like it okay they might not come out and say it, but love that you like that character a lot of nigerians mm, there are more nigerians who don't like that character than than the ones that do so you can i understand what you're saying though yeah brother do you mind if i come in oh, yeah bro you know um you said something and i i agree with at least 90 percent of what ty said i absolutely agree maybe one of two things that he said that i don't agree with but i'll break it down you said something already you said wilder is a gentle guy i mean joshua is a gentle guy wilder is not a gentle guy wilder says anything joshua is a little bit cultured and says the right things i'm saying maybe about the, uh, the 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 wilder the person is different from wilder the fighter the fighter yeah and the yeah. nigerians think Water the fighter is a real water. 
Mm. They, they don't even mm. know that water is from a water is from what is that is a is is a is a pastor. They never know it's from her. It's from uh, like a pastor at home. Maybe, maybe if they knew it was a, it was a pastor's son, they would have liked him more. You know, Nigerians like their pastors and their imams very well. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> you serious? <it's> what you know? <laughs> See, I was what I was gonna say was that maybe I think one of the reasons I'm just realizing one of the reasons that I, I gravitate towards Wilder. And don't get it wrong, I like Joshua. I like his persona. He's a good guy. I have no pro. I used to hate Joshua. I don't hate him anymore. One of the reasons I like Wilder is that he speaks out his mind. Why, why did he hate not Joshua? Caring. No, it was jo- Joshua extreme fan. They made me hate him because they were constantly bashing Wilder nonstop. And they are still doing it till this day. But I have moved on. I no longer hate Joshua. I like Joshua. But those crazy extreme fans, I don't like them. <laughs> That's me. But I was I was saying something about Wilder's outspokenness. Maybe that's why I gravitate towards it. Because me, I am also an outspoken person. And I don't like mincing words. I like calling it exactly how it is. So maybe that's why I gravitate towards Wilder. And that doesn't mean Joshua is a bad person in any way. But that's just it for me. And then see why I said um, Nigerians would expect Wilder. This is the part that I slightly disagree with. You, right? I said Nigerians would expect Wilder to speak up when... There, are, there is Nigerian Wahala. The problem here is Wilder, being from Tuscaloosa, deep south US, he already has a ton of problems to deal with. So if Nigerians have problems in Nigeria, there is no way Wilder would even have time to start researching what the problem is. I mean, he might do that, but he already has to speak out for his, demo, his demographic deep down south US where we all know that is the racist capital of the world and that's where wilder is from so he's not going to be trying to figure out other people's problems and i'm not saying nigerians are other people because now he's also a nigerian but i mean he's more connected to the us whether we like it or not regardless his nigerian ancestry and he will definitely speak up more about the us situation also if nigerians want someone to speak up for them they should hold their politicians accountable these are the people that are elected to be governors, senators. They need to hold those people accountable and stop relying on superstars to do anything. Guys, you heard it from our brother, Adewale, stated from more exclusive bangers that year. And yeah, he is the home of Nigerian and African boxing. And while you're here don't forget to like the video always like it and share it very important we are growing but we have to grow more because we can do way more than this we have to we must as nigerians god bless your god stay tuned